Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, and the IYT. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, if you're looking for a new broker, check out Cobra Trading dot com slash promo slash stock bookie best in the business been using these guys for years check them out cobatrading.com all right let's get into the spider 54 million on the day 34 cents green a little bit down after hours i think uh, facebook and tesla they're still down and then uh 54 million on a day so the volume was okay it's still light that's like the new normal guy so let's just uh you know 54 million good enough i guess but uh, so we made a new high again, you know, making new highs, I think 51 or 60 in the all, all year, basically on the indexes. Made a new one today, came right back in though, closed below this green bar. We did have a nice, you know, we got up, we pulled back, we shot back up, pulled back a little bit. Now we're trying to go up on earnings. So technically above the 20, the 50 and the 200, you're still in a bullish stance and uh, you're, you're hitting the levels. 250, 250, 250, 255. 255 or 5750 and then it's going to be 260 guys and then you, there's really nothing up here 275 will be a big number if it gets there but uh you're watching if this thing's going to hold we go down start going sideways and i'll look for more of a bearish setup good support though guys good support so watch for that so but overall on the daily chart it is still bullish and uh going up on light volume though i want to see heavier volume going up i don't want to see lighter volume going up that's just the float we start getting heavier volume guys look for some selling so that's what we're watching for watch volume very important let's go iwm i like the pattern i like to move up i like the bullishness of this uh chart here but man you know this this is this is distribution in my opinion guys just slow and steady a little heavier tax plan news going up on the tax plan guys so everything's news driven right now. There's nothing showing that the economy's better or anything's going to help, guys. So watch for that. But we gapped up again, right to the highs. Big reversal today. Let's go to the 10 minute. We look at the 10 and the 60 as well. That, that's what we do intraday scalping. So, but nice gap up, boom, fails. Comes right back in, closes. Almost at the lows, but uh, slight uh, bearish. But we'll see tomorrow. We're down a little bit, like I said. Do we get down with the news? If, ba if Baba comes out bad and then Apple doesn't do very well, then we're going to probably see some selling going into the weekend. And remember, guys, the jobs report. And I think it was a crap storm last time, so keep an eye on the job report. All right, so the 10-minute doesn't shows us a little fade there. And then let's go to the daily. The daily, same thing. But good bullish pattern up here, guys. But we got back below the 20 MA and we closed. We're still above the 50 and the 200 MA. We have the Fibonacci from this side of that low. So we have uh, good support at these low pivots at this 250 uh, or 146.70 or 68 or the 0.25 retrace. And then we have uh, the 382 as well as another green line from a bigger time frame. So you're going to have great support right around 144 and ultimately the 200 MA if this starts to slide. And I'm thinking double bottom down in here somewhere. So we'll watch for that. So yeah, this one can't keep going. Kind of lagging. You got to watch out when the IWM is lagging and not leading. But it did make almost all-time high, so you got to keep an eye on that. But again, it's still above the 50 and the 200, so it's still in an okay bullish stance. And it's just been going up, guys. That's what the market's been doing. Watch for volume on the IWM as well. This one too, guys. The Qs, all-time high. It's going to be on the news. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. All-time high after high. 10 o'clock news, 10 o'clock news. Oh, the hype. It's, it's getting better. It's getting better. And this has been grinding. I mean, look at this craziness back here. Nice retrace comes in. They gap it up and it go and they try to get it. I mean, you're even getting extended on the uh, the daily time frame a little bit. In my opinion, guys, when you get too far from the 20 MA, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull back. Look, you're a little bit far. It could go a little more on if Apple has good earnings, you're going to get maybe the last push up and then maybe the pullback. But we're going to see. This is going to be interesting. Got the big trend line here on the queue. So right now, guys, again, going up light volume. You're still above the 20, the 50, and the 200, which is a good bullish stance. But you had a nice little reversal today. We'll go to the 10-minute. Gapped up. 
<clears throat> and then gave it up. Not as bad as the uh, spy, but and then little. This is a, it's a little bearish to get above the 20 and the 200 still. But let's see if it holds. If it gaps down here, it's gonna yeah. Oh, it's down 38 cents. So this thing it might gap down tomorrow. If it does take out the low of uh, today, then you're probably looking at uh, probably 150 price target down in here. At least a 200 MA, and then if the market starts to come in a little bit, so watch for that. But on the daily, nothing's wrong. A little bit stretched, like I said. Watch for that. Watch for a pullback, maybe to the trend line or to the 20. See how this curls up. You have gap window at here, right around 149.39. So watch for that. So technically, you know, it's in a bullish stance, but it's at the highs, kind of grinding. I don't know. I'm just waiting for some click and then dump. Just, just be careful if you're long. That's all I'm saying. If you're long, hey, congrats. You had a great bull run. And still, it just it just seems like it's going to keep going. Look at the DIA, the Dow, since November. I still think we're going to the November lows of um, right, well, right in here, 178 on the DIA. We'll get back there eventually. I just don't know when. Um, but uh, right now, guys, we're looking at the 235.52 number. We had the 230 to 225, the 221.67, and so. We're looking at 235.52. We gapped up today, same situation. Gap up, crap out, came in. Never didn't fill the gap though. Got close on here, but the DIA, you got to keep an eye on it. Volume, uh, what was the volume today? The volume was, yeah, a little bit better. I mean, it was uh, 2 million on the day. Pretty much normal. We picked up a little tiny bit when we sold and just kind of flattened out. So this is slightly bullish though, guys. I mean, it, it's bullish, but at the high, sometimes these things tend to fail. We're at the 235. That was one of my max moves here. We are a little bit extended from the 20, the 50, and the you know 200 MA. Haven't touched it in you know a couple months. It's, it's bound to at least pull back, you know 231, and then we'll look for the 50 MA. If it moves up, we got to get above the 235.52 on the DIA and keep moving. I'd still like to see more volume. Just a good push up on some green volume and see if this thing can get above this area. And maybe shoot for the 240 to uh 3750 then we're gonna look at the quarter numbers too to uh 40 to 42 you know 50 stuff like that just look for that because we're, we're in no man's land guys there is an up, up sloping trend line i'm going to stick that in the next video but uh let's see what these things do during the week all the other indexes as well and then uh and then we'll take it from there but uh apple baba tomorrow tesla and uh uh, Facebook wasn't that great. I mean, Facebook, I guess, blew it out of the water, but I think it's been moving up too far too fast. So I think we might get a slight pullback on that one. I let it come in. If the market sell a little bit, let Facebook come in a little bit more and, and you know, you could buy the dip mentality. So you could try that. So the DIA guys, let, let's see what happens in the next couple of days with uh, a couple more big earnings coming out. NVIDIA too as well. I want to see that one. And, uh, you know, a couple other ones coming up too as well I want to watch. So let's look into the IYT. Now, the IYT, guys, you know, we had a nice retrace up. It broke out, started moving up, came in, moved up again, came in, moved up again, retraced again, and then came right back in. We're at the lows now, or the high of the old high at 175.75 or so. So that's going to become support. I'm going to widen this. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I want to stick a little bit wider. Okay, we do have, I was going to say, we do have that one. That was more of a short term here. So we are holding this gap. We're holding the double bottoms here. But we do, you know, we still have a gap down in here. We still have double bottom down in this area as well. This one, you know what, was taken off. We did talk about 180, 182.50, 185. If this is what it went to. I mean, hats off to the this index, guys. This thing just terrorized. Came in. Now we're watching this. Slightly bearish on the daily you know, just chopping around inside these bars, pulled back, retrace, pulled back, retrace, and then it's slowly. Let's see. Let's see if we could get out of this area here. We're going to connect these highs. If we could break this trend line, then probably back to the highs. Let's see what we can do in earnings and news. That's what's going to be driving these markets. So Facebook and Tesla went off a little bit down after hours. No great shakes, but uh, we'll keep an eye on those tomorrow. But again, just like the IWM guys, back to the IYT. This thing is lagging a little bit. It should be leading. So let's keep an eye on this and the IWM. These come in. Remember, the Russell was down uh, pretty good today. It was down a buck on the IWM. So that's it's not like a terrible day, but uh, you know it was like, whoa, wow, that was that was a little bit of a downside. It was down a little bit lower. 
during uh, intraday action, about 50 cents. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on this one too. Even though it was green, we have a little bit of selling in this area. Maybe some distribution up here. Remember, distribution. You're going to distribute at the low or you're going to distribute at the high. So this thing's trying to pop, pop, slightly bullish, still above the 50, the 200 MA. You know, the volume still kind of sucks on this one, but, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. I'd still like to see, you know, a big, a big like this green day here. You know, four, what is it? Uh, 446,000. This big green one, almost six, 700,000. But then you get these big red bars too that, you know, this is when the selling comes in. That's when the real 1 million on that one. But uh, watch this one. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this, if this starts to slip and starts touching the 50 MA, that's going to be very important. The next level will be right here around 171 or so. Then like always, 200 MA will be a target down in here. So watch for that, guys. So, all right, well, uh, let's see here. I think that's it. Going to be it for today. I just want to uh, say thanks for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully uh, we can get some more action with these earnings coming up and uh, see what we can do. Follow me on Stock Twits, like my videos, all that good stuff, guys. And again, thanks for watching. God bless. See you on the charts.